and welcome to City Skyline Snow Globes, a history and crafts video from the Museum of the City of New York, created in collaboration with Project KID. I'm Maeve Montalvo, Director of the Museum's Frederick A.O. Schwartz Education Center. We're so glad that you've joined us today. In this video, Amanda Kingloff of Project KID will show you how to build your own model snow globe using household materials. In your snow globe, you can build whatever miniature world you'd like. In our snow globe, we've made a skyline to look like the skyline of New York City, because we're the Museum of the City of New York, of course. In this video, we'll talk more about what a skyline is, and also look at some images of New York City's skyline from years long ago as inspiration. While you're crafting, feel free to pause the video at any time to go gather materials or go back to watch how to do a step again. You can also pause the video on any of the images that you see. Maybe you could even stop at a picture and talk with your grown-up to play I Spy and see what else you can find in the image. New York City's skyline is famous all over the world. So what's a skyline? A skyline is the image of tall structures seen silhouetted against the sky. In New York City, the tallest things are the buildings. But you could also have a skyline of elements in nature, like mountains, or other structures, like bridges. The famous New York City skyline usually shows the skyscraper buildings of Manhattan, as we see in this photograph from 1936 by Berenice Abbott. Because Manhattan is an island, surrounded by water, images of the skyline often look like the buildings are coming up right out of the water. New York City's skyline has inspired artists for years. This artist made a print that looks like a painting, showing the busy New York Harbor and the skyline in the background. They made the scene look realistic, trying to capture it just how it looked to them. Do you see all the boats in the harbor? Maybe some of those boats are gonna go up under the Brooklyn Bridge. Can you find the Brooklyn Bridge in this image? I'll give you a hint. It's towards the right. This artist has also chosen to make a print, but in a completely different style. She made a print by carving the outlines of shapes into a piece of linoleum, covering it in blue paint, and then pressing it onto the paper. Then she added more colors. How many more colors did she add? Her buildings also look like they are rising from the water to form the skyline. Can you find the boats sailing in front? How does she help us to see the boats in all of that blue water? When you make your skyline inside your snow globe, maybe you'll choose to include something famous, like the Statue of Liberty. This statue, officially called Liberty Enlightening the World, was a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States and it has stood in New York Harbor since 1886. This sculptor, Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, designed the statue, and Gustav Eiffel designed the metal framework inside the statue that shapes and holds up this giant figure, which is over 300 feet tall. Gustav Eiffel was the same man who designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. All of New York City's skyscrapers reach up high into the sky, but you can tell them apart by their unique shapes and designs. This postcard shows three famous Manhattan skyscrapers. On the left is the Empire State Building, finished in 1931. For the next 40 years, it was the tallest building in the world. The building in the middle is the RCA Building in Rockefeller Center near Radio City Music Hall. And the building on the right is the Chrysler Building, which is crowned at the top with stainless steel panels in a sunburst pattern. Now you get to make your own skyline. So what will you choose to put in it? Will you make some famous buildings or landmarks like what we've seen today? Or maybe something from your own imagination? Or maybe you'll even include a familiar building like the building you live in. Whatever you choose, have fun. 
Now, let's learn how to build our own model snow globes. Hi, I'm Amanda Kingloff with ProjectKid.com and author of the books Project Kid and Project Kid Crafts That Go. And I'm so excited to be here with you today to craft with the Museum of the City of New York. Snow globes are probably one of the most popular souvenirs from New York City because we have such an amazing skyline. So today we're gonna to make our own snow globes using a plastic cup and cardboard. So gather up your materials and let's get started. For this craft, you will need cotton balls, scissors, a white pipe cleaner, glue, white paint, a paintbrush, yellow paper, a clear plastic cup, markers, cardboard from a cereal box or cracker box, a pen, and white paper, either tissue paper or regular copy paper. The first step in making our city snow globe is to take your clear plastic cup and you're gonna trace it on your cereal box or cracker box cardboard. I like to use this kind of cardboard just because it's a little bit easier to cut. So I'm tracing it and then I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. And this is going to be the base of the snow globe where our city buildings are going to live. So I usually like to do sort of a rough cut so it's easier to handle and then get down to the nitty gritty and get my nice circle cut out. And then after you cut it out, you will see that it fits perfectly on the bottom of your cup. The next step is to make our buildings. And you know, New York City has so many buildings. There's so many different shapes and sizes and they have different roof lines and all sorts of differences. So we're just gonna make a whole bunch of different colored buildings. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my markers and I'm coloring on the cardboard and I'm just coloring like big um, rectangles of space and I'm gonna cut them down into different buildings. So like this building, this shape is gonna become like two buildings. This one will become two buildings. Let's do one that's taller. Just wanna get a lot of color in there just so that we have a really colorful skyline. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm gonna turn it into a few buildings. So let's say this one's gonna become three skinny buildings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my colored cardboard and I'm gonna bend it over. So this bent part will be glued to the bottom and this will be the building. So let's do this building with a pointed roof. I'm just gonna trim and cut. See, we have a little pointed roof. We could do one a little bit shorter with a slanted roof. There's some really cool buildings that have a slanted roof. I'm gonna bend the bottom. And then let's do one that has a really intricate roof. So if I wanted to do a point at the top, I would kind of snip here, snip here, and then I'm gonna cut the sides off like this, so I have a little point, kind of like the Empire State Building. And then I'm gonna snip here and here, here and here. And that looks like kind of a cool, let's see, let's even this out a little bit. And that looks like a very cool New York City skyscraper. And so you're just gonna keep doing this until you have as many buildings. Let's make sure we fold the bottom so it can stand up. So you're gonna do this until you have as many buildings as you want to fill your cityscape. And now that I have my buildings cut, I'm gonna take my pen and add just some little details. So maybe on this one, I'm gonna add 
just some rectangles just to add some little architectural details to my buildings. Maybe this one needs just some vertical lines to give and some horizontal lines to give it a little definition. Maybe there's a big square of something here. And so you're gonna just keep doing that. Like this one, I was thinking this could look like an apartment building. So we'll do a little fun detail like that. Maybe some windows. And just keep working on all of them so you have a nice variety. So now that I have all of my buildings made, I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna glue them. I'm gonna glue the little piece that I bent and glue them down onto my cardboard. So what I like to do first is sort of arrange them and get the cityscape, the skyline that I like, and then take my glue, add a little dot of glue. I'm gonna put the tall one right in the center and it'll stand right up. See? So just keep working. I like to do about two rows of buildings so that they can really stack. So once you have all of your buildings glued on like this, you want to just do make sure that when you put your lid down, when you put your cup down, they fit. And you can see mine fit really nicely. So the next thing I'm going to do, because it's winter in the city, we're going to take some cotton balls and glue them around the ground as snow. So what you can do is sort of unravel a cotton ball. It sort of like unrolls a little bit, see? And you can just pull it apart and fit it around the buildings where you can. So take your glue and just kind of give it, place it down where you need it. And then just mold the cotton balls kind of around the buildings. And now that this one's really long, I can just sort of like slip it right down in there and then pull off the end here and pull off the end here. And you can just keep working. Oops, it's okay. And see, now I have a little snowy landscape. So I'm gonna keep working all the way around so that it's there's snow on the ground from all angles. Okay, so now we wanna make some snow to put in our snow globe. So I have some tissue paper here, which is just really thin, you know, white paper that you use in gift wrapping, but you can also use just regular copy paper from your printer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut slits like this. So you're kind of making like a fringe. And I'm just gonna do a couple more. And then, I'm going to turn my cup upside down. I'm going to sort of fold my paper so that everything is nice and, and together. And I'm just going to cut my snow and just it'll fall right into the cup. So I'm just cutting little pieces. They don't have to be even. They don't have to be perfect. They're just tiny little pieces of paper that are going to fall down around my city in my snow globe. So let's get all that in there. And then your next step is you're going to take your glue and you're going to put glue around the edge and turn your city upside down and drop it into the cup. So here I am, I'm going to put the glue around all the way around, just kind of get it in there underneath the snow. And I'm gonna flip it upside down and put it in my cup of snow. And I'm gonna sort of hold it down, count to 10, let it dry. And now I have snow in my cityscape. And if you want to give it a nice finish. I have I happen to have a white pipe cleaner and I am just gonna glue it right around the bottom edge. 
This is a totally optional step. If you do not have a pipe cleaner, it really doesn't matter. You can always put a ribbon around it. You can leave it plain. It's just a nice little finish for your snow globe. So I want to kind of make a, a nighttime scene. So I have a yellow piece of paper and I'm going to cut out a moon that I'm going to glue onto the side of the cup. So I'm kind of doing like this nice crescent moon. Kind of looks like a banana. And I'm going to take my glue and the glue dries clear. Most glues dry clear. So when you glue it onto the cup, let me add a little more glue down here. So the ends don't pop off, kind of spread it around. And I'm going to look at my snow globe from the front and going to put it right behind the buildings. Just like so. And then just let that dry. And now for the last step, and this is totally optional also, I'm just going to add a few little white dots of paint around the outside just to add a little more of a snowy feeling to my snow globe. So I'm not going to put them right in front of my buildings. I'm just going to put them off to the side and around the back. And this just kind of gives it a little more snow. And as you see, the, the paper inside sort of sticks to the side at times and really looks like there's a lot of snow in there. And that is how you make a dry New York City skyline snow globe. Thank you for joining us for this session of History and Crafts from the Museum of the City of New York and Project Kid. We'd love to see what you made today. If you'd like, you can share it with us on social media. We're at Museum of City NY, and you can use the hashtags MCNY Kids, and Project Kid. For more great crafting ideas, visit Project Kid at projectkid.com. And finally, to learn more about New York City, to read great stories, and to see more images like these from the museum's collection, visit us at the Museum of the City of New York, www.mcny.org.